Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast that extends from the 25th through the 4th of March. This is going to be our first March weekly forecast, and I can I hope to continue to do these throughout the rest of the year. So if you are interested in this concept and this is your first video that you're watching, please consider subscribing because I do these once a week uh, for you guys, and I, I find the information is quite useful, and a lot of my subscribers do as well. So again, keep that in the back of your head as you're watching this, uh, that you might consider subscribing for more content like this. Now, you'll notice we're going to be looking at our temperature forecast first off and you can see there's two areas that will be slightly above average and that's going to be the southwestern United States California Nevada northern Utah southern Idaho southern Oregon and we're gonna be seeing the southeastern United States as well Florida southern Alabama southern Georgia and most of South Carolina we're all gonna be kind of warmer uh, slightly warmer so we will have some cold periods in there uh, but overall it's gonna be it's gonna be you know slightly warmer than average now we we have our below average there's a little bit of a teardrop shape there for Arizona and Utah uh, that's not gonna be too cold though uh, we we do have our light blue that extends from Oregon up into Montana down to Texas and then all the way up into the northeastern United States you can see that it kind of dips into the southern United States the south central United States and then uh, it makes its way back up to the northeastern United States then we have two sections of the medium shade of blue and that's gonna be kinda where we're gonna be seeing more consistent cold uh, that's from Washington State to Montana down to Kansas Oklahoma Arkansas Missouri and then up into Michigan uh, and it's going to be all the areas in there are going to be in that. And also northern New England, so Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and upstate New York. We're all going to be seeing those conditions as well. That's going to be pretty consistent cold and could be very, very cold at times. Now we have our darkest shade of blue, and this is where it's pretty much going to be very cold the entire time. Uh, it, from from eastern Montana through the Dakotas, portions of Nebraska, northern Missouri, all of Iowa, portions of Illinois, half of Wisconsin, and really uh, Minnesota is going to be in that as well. We're going to be very, very cold uh, for this time frame, 25th through the 4th, especially later on. Uh, and I expect next week to look quite similar with this cold in the central United States. As, as I uploaded my video yesterday about the cold that's coming, uh, I expect that that will also carry over past the 4th and influence our next week's weekly forecast as well. Now we're going to move on to our precipitation forecast. You can see not a lot going on. West Coast really the highlight here, but we do have a slightly below average precipitation area from Missouri and Arkansas up through the Great Lakes region of the United States that you can see there. It's the only thing going on in the eastern United States. But we do have above average precipitation there for California, Nevada, Southern Oregon, Southern Idaho, portions of Wyoming and Utah as well. Uh, the darker the green, the more above average the precipitation, obviously. Then we have some below average precipitation there for uh, the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Northern Oregon, Northern Idaho, and portions of Montana as well. Um, we do have a medium shade of, of brown in there. That's where we're going to be pretty dry. Uh, but, but for those areas, it's, it's kind of confusing. You could really get a lot of rain, but it's still not your average because we get so much rain there on average. Uh, so I expect some rain for you guys, but not not quite as much as you're used to. Now we're gonna be work moving on to our special note portion of the video, and this is usually a favorite of most people who keep up with this series. They find it the most useful because this is a very unique uh, system that I have here, where you don't usually get this information from other sources. Now we're expecting multiple systems for the northwestern United States through the, from the 25th through the 4th, upwards of four different systems. So it's gonna be quite stormy the entire time period. That's why I've kind of uh, categorize them all into one special note. Now we're going to move on to special note number two and this is going to be a clipper system from the 26th through the 28th. It's going to make its way from the Dakotas and Montana through the Great Lakes and then through to New England where southern New England could get uh, two to four inches from this one. I've been eyeballing. I might make a video on that tonight so stay tuned for that if you are in those areas, New England especially. Uh, special note number three, we have a weak storm that's going to be moving from the Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas area, and it's going to make its way eastward, and I think this could be snow for northern Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, southern New England, Ohio, West Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, areas like that, we could be dealing with some snow from this one, so keep an eye on that. And special note number four, uh, the first through the fourth, we are looking at a stronger storm than the previous one. It's going to make its way from Montana all the way down through the central United States and then up through New England and this one's kind of far in advance so we don't really know what what this one is going to bring or as far as what conditions this one's going to bring uh, but it will be interesting to watch this one transpire but I am watching for the potential of a low pressure system during this time frame. 
Anyway guys, that's it for this weekly forecast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if this type of video is helpful for you, I would consider subscribing because I do make these every single week and I continue or I uh, plan on continuing to do that through the rest of the year. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.